Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Our last film, Grand Hotel, was based on the story by writer Vicki Baum and was a big hit in the 1930s. And we next have a Vicki Baum story which became a really popular movie in the 1940s. And like Grand Hotel, it's also set in a hotel in Berlin, a format which worked very well for Vicki Baum. The chance to follow a diverse group of individuals who happen to be staying at the same place at the same time. And of course, what could be more fascinating the Nosori said in Berlin, just as everybody there is beginning to realize the Germans are losing World War II. Our movie is called Hotel Berlin. It's set in Germany's premier city and political hub during that tumultuous period. The story follows several people living at that same glamorous lodging in Berlin, everybody with a great deal at stake and having to deal with the inevitable. It was a very timely film when it was made. The war was indeed winding down at that point, and it said that every day, various changes were made in the script to mirror what was actually happening at that time in Berlin. However, there was a serious concern at Warner Brothers Studios that if Berlin fell before the movie could be completed and released, the film would seem woefully out of date. So to get Hotel Berlin into movie theaters as quickly as possible, post-production work was kept to a minimum. The film's editor was given only five days to deliver the entire movie, and composer Franz Waxman had only 20 hours to complete and record the entire music score. But the film did make it into theaters a month before the fall of Berlin, and audiences indeed packed in to see it. It was kind of a perfect story for Warner Brothers to make, that studio with a particular fondness for subject matter ripped, as they say, from the headlines, as this movie certainly was. So here with the cast, it includes Raymond Massey, Peter Lorre, Andrea King, Helmut Dantine, Alan Hale, and Faye Emerson. Faye given the film added appeal because she just married Elliot Roosevelt, the son of Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the president of the U.S. at that time. From 1945, here's Hotel Berlin. <laughs>